Welcome to today's Gospel Reading and Reflection by Christian's Crosses for Tuesday, October 15th, 2024, the Memorial of St. Teresa of Jesus. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who through your Spirit raised up St. Teresa of Jesus, to show the Church the way to seek perfection. Grant that we may always be nourished by the food of her heavenly teaching and fired with longing for true holiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from Luke chapter 11, Verses 37 through 41. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. After Jesus had spoken, a Pharisee invited him to dine at his home. He entered and reclined at table to eat. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not observe the prescribed washing before the meal. The Lord said to him, O oh, you Pharisees, although you cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, inside you are filled with plunder and evil. You fools! Did not the maker of the outside also make the inside? But as to what is within, give alms, and behold, everything will be clean for you. The Gospel of the Lord Today's Gospel Reflection In today's Gospel, Jesus is invited to dine with a Pharisee, and right from the start, there's tension. Jesus sits down to eat without performing the ritual washing, which is something that was very important in their tradition. And the Pharisee, of course, is shocked. But Jesus uses this moment to teach a deeper truth, not to settle for looking good on the outside while neglecting what's going on inside our hearts. It's easy to focus on appearances, on following all the rules, on making sure we look the part of someone who's got it all together. But Jesus wants more than just external obedience. He's asking for our hearts. The Pharisees were so concerned with ritual purity, but Jesus points out that purity of heart is what truly matters to him. And this ties in beautifully with the life and teachings of St. Teresa of Jesus, also known as Teresa of Avila, who we celebrate today. Teresa was known for her deep interior life, her relentless pursuit of a genuine relationship with God, and her teachings on prayer and the transformation of the heart. She once said, It is foolish to think that we will enter heaven without entering into ourselves. St. Teresa understood, obviously, what Jesus is talking about in today's gospel, that it's not enough to clean the outside. We need to allow God to transform our hearts from within. For her, the path to this transformation was through prayer, through an honest, intimate relationship with God, where we bring Him not just our actions, but our hearts, our fears, our struggles, our sinfulness and our hopes. In this gospel, Jesus invites the Pharisees to look deeper, to go beyond surface-level religious practices and open their hearts to true conversion. And he's asking the same of us today. Are we just going through the motions, making sure we appear righteous? Or are we letting God into the messy parts of our lives? And we all have messy parts, the parts that need healing, repentance, and transformation. St. Teresa would tell us that the way to begin this transformation is through prayer. She once said, Prayer is an act of love. Words are not needed. Even if sickness distracts from thoughts, all that is needed is the will to love. And that's the heart of what Jesus is getting at in today's Gospel. The Pharisees were so focused on their rituals and appearances, but Jesus is saying, Where is your love? Where is your heart? If we're honest, it's easy to fall into the Pharisees' trap. We can do all the right things, go to Mass, follow the rules, check the boxes. 
But if we're not letting God into the depths of our hearts, if we're not opening ourselves to his love and allowing him to transform us from the inside out, we are missing the point. Jesus is calling us to a deeper kind of discipleship, one that doesn't settle for appearances, but seeks real change. And the good news is, we don't have to do it alone. Just like St. Teresa taught, God is ready to meet us in prayer in the quiet places of our hearts and begin that transformation if we're willing to let him in. So let's not be satisfied with cleaning the outside while neglecting what's inside. Let's invite God into the deepest parts of ourselves, trusting that he will cleanse, heal, and transform us into the people that he is calling us to be. And so today, let's pray and follow in the path of St. Teresa, trusting that God will do his work within our hearts. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.